Hey everybody, it's Heidi with the Weathered Fence Post and on today's video, we're going to meet up with Joanne from Bat Th Thrift Crazy, sorry Joanne, Bat Thrift Crazy and with a good friend Kelly and Kelly is kind enough to chauffeur us around and we're going to go to several places. We're going to go to, let's see, we went to, uh, we met up at the at the bins and we weren't there long and then we went to um, My Secret Closet in Hillsboro, then we went to a uh, the restore I think was next and then a Goodwill I went to and then we went to the scrap exchange in Durham so several stops I didn't get a lot of film as usual it's not it's sometimes difficult to get the filming the shopping filming but uh, I did get some so we're gonna go do that right now and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna check out this fabulous hall full of fantastic items I can't wait to go over them with you good morning treasure hunters Guess what day it is? It's not Friday. <laughs> it's Saturday. Time to go treasure hunting with some friends. Let's go find some stuff. It's cold out, but we're still going to find some stuff. We are in Durham, North Carolina today, hunting at the Scrap Exchange. So this is walking in. Got artwork. There's all kinds of great um, crafting things here. They also have a thrift section. So let's go see if we can find anything. Just found this tin here. I think Steve can make a lamp out of it. And then I found these two. These are awesome. There's two of them. Rest of goodness. And then I just saw this up here. It's a Foley food mill. It does have a little rust on it. I mean, it would probably be mostly for decor purposes, unless somebody really wanted to invest some time cleaning that rust off. It's $5.50. It might be a little more than I'd want to spend. Gonna have to excuse the fingernails, guys. Sorry, didn't have time to do them. Didn't have time to fix them up before the video. So this is part of an old salad master, I believe, because here are the cones for it. Could be salad master. These are cute. I feel like those could be used on something. I'm over here looking at the posters. They're 75 cents each. This one is Doctor Who. Says you will be exterminated. No power in the universe can stop. I the something. Alex. I don't know what that is, but oh, Alex. I don't know. Alex. Either way, it's got some cool content. It's got this guy down here on it, and then down here at the very bottom, you can find the date. It says 93 on here somewhere. 96. So 96. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk on this. I think it's worth it. I'm tempted on these. These are from 1983. They're made in the USA. This one is the five senses. And then the one behind it, is a, and they're hard posters, is the human body, which I really like. Um, 
I like that more than the five senses. So we're over in the uh, thrift section now of the scrap exchange and look at this. Look at the size of this. This would be so great in a booth. It's $68.50. But this would be so great in a booth for display to like put pillows in it. Oh, it'd be awesome. It's gorgeous. And look at this little high chair with the mice on the back. That is so cute. And then right over there, look at that old buggy. That is so awesome. Just found this set of crate and barrel. And I think, yeah. Looks like they're all in good condition. I think we'll go ahead and grab those. It's a nice set. I think some of y'all want those. And I like this. I like the colors. Only two though but I do like the color on them, so I think I'm gonna grab those too. Just came across the cutest little egg cup. And it says Lucy Kaz on it. Look at that, that's so cute. Just found this piece. This is got a really smooth edge on it. It's very heavy and I zoomed in on that. And it's um, Bohemia Glass, I think it says, made in Czechoslovakia, 425. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I think it's a really pretty piece. And I think somebody's going to love it.
The first stop that we made was at the Benz, and that was just so Joanne and I could meet up, and then we were going to drive over to Kelly's house. But Joanne had already been hunting, and she found this great bag for me. It's Jaguar, and again, it's a tapestry bag, a little carry-on case or travel bag. I, can't, I can read the tag in there, but it's going to be hard for me to show it to you. But it says J.C. Penny in there, and it says Made in Thailand. It's got this strap. It's in pretty good condition. Actually, it's in really good condition. So can't wait to put that in the booth. I actually haven't researched uh, the value of this yet, but it's in great condition. And Joanne picked it out, so I know she looked it over well for me. The next stop was the um, My Secret Garden, or My... My Secret Closet, not My Secret Garden. My Secret Closet, it's in Hillsboro. It's a consignment shop. And it, it's a little bit kind of like the sh a shop that we we sell in. So the price point was at a point where I, you know, that would be the point of sale that I would have. So it was a little difficult to find something in there for me to resell. But I did find a couple things. One of them pretty fantastic. But I found these little Annalise because they were having, I think, 50 or 70%, I think it was 50% off their Christmas items. So got a couple little Annalise for next year that I'm going to put away. Thought they were adorable. And I found Felix the cat right back there. Oh my gosh, he's awesome. I'm so afraid I'm going to drop him. But Felix the Cat, guys, this is a Felix the Cat cookie jar from 1991. I was checking out. I feel like I picked up something else other than those Annalise, but I can't remember what it was. But I was checking out, and this was behind the counter, up on a shelf in the back, not on the floor. And I said, is that for sale, or is that being held for someone? And they said, yeah, it's for sale. And it was marked down, I think, to $20 is what I paid for it. And I just researched it. Here's the bottom. Let me get it where you can read it. 1991. I just researched it. One just sold on eBay on February 2nd for $80. So I was very excited to find Felix the cat. And look at his eyes. He's just such a happy kitty cat. The next stop on our trip was the Restore. And this is one of the items I picked up because Steve makes coffee bars and mini bars and we usually like to stage them with some type of coffee or tea tin. So it's just a galvanized steel. It's probably a repop. It's not original. And here's one that says tea, but I just love the look of them. And I just think they'll look really nice on one of Steve's uh, mini bars that he makes. I also found this little guy and this is from Blob House. And there's a little tag here. It's hard to read. You, I don't even know if you'll be able to read it. But he sold for $25 when he was new. I did look these up on eBay, and they're listed around the $20 mark, $15 to $20 mark. But I didn't find any characters. I found a lot of succulent planters. So I don't know how much the care. I've got to research a little bit more. But oh my gosh, look at him. Isn't he adorable? And I just said to myself, you know what? If he doesn't sell... He'll go in my garden or go in my house somewhere because I just think he's adorable. Look at those eyes. The very first thing that I found when I walked through the door of the Restore that was staged with some of the furniture was this Empoli Genie Bottle Light Amber. It's just, it's gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. This is mid-century modern. It is missing. It's beautiful stopper. So maybe I'll be able to find one and make this a complete piece. I don't know. I may just sell it the way it is right now. I just fell in love with it. I was so excited to find it. And it picked it right up. Went right in the cart right away. Great piece. Oh, I think, how much are these? Oh, I saw one on eBay, but it had its stopper. That's, that's key. The, the stopper is like the crown of the Empoli Glass Genie Bottles. Um, it was listed for $115, so I don't know how much the bottle would be without the stopper. I'll have to look into that a little bit further, but it's still a valuable piece, and I paid $3 for it. The next fantastic piece that I found there was this silhouette. It was in the frame area. It was not priced. I had to ask a lady how much did it cost. Again, we're at the restore. I expected it to be quite costly. She said, ah, it's a frame. It's a dollar. I was like, okay, I'll take it because guess what? I don't know if you can see. I'm getting a reflection there, but... It is signed, you can't see it. It is signed, it says F. Ward, 1932, and on the back is the name of the child, 
that this was the silhouette was of. And I think she's wearing a riding hat. I thought that was really, really nice. It's a beautiful piece, antique. Definitely, definitely went in the cart. I paid a dollar for it. And I, th I think, what did I look these up? These are kind of all over the place. I think I saw them as low as $10 all the way up in the 70s. So I'm not sure the value of this particular piece, but I know people, these are trending right now. People are looking for these. So I can't wait to bring this to the booth. I cannot remember if I got this at the ReStore or if I picked this up at the Scrap Exchange. I cannot remember, but this says John Ward Men's Shoes. From what I can see, it looks like they're out of New York City or there was a store in New York City on Cortland Street. Found some pictures of it. I did find one of these listed on eBay for $30. I didn't find any sold comps to look at, but it's a really cool old shoehorn. And I think it will really look nice in my little mini treasures box. So that's where that's going to go. Really cool for a collector. Just a little cute piece for somebody's kitchen. A little chicken. Again, chickens are trending. People are raising their own chickens and getting their own eggs from their home. So I said, yeah, I'll have to grab this. He's in good condition. And it's just a cute little chicken holding a flower. Bah! Nothing spectacular, but something that's trendy. It's just a little cactus. I wish there had been more. And again, I'm pretty sure I got this at the ReStore based on the ticket being pink, but I may have picked this up from the Scrap Exchange store too. I don't know. I can't remember. But just a cute little cactus, ceramic piece. It's contemporary. The girls decided to get a little lunch and there was a Goodwill next door. And I said, well, I'm gonna go in there and check it out. And guess what I found? This great, big spider <laughs> he's gonna be great for the halloween booth next year we had another one like this last year and he sold so definitely had to grab the spider and i put him on my head joanne all right after the restore or the goodwill we then went on to the scrap exchange and i found several things the scrap exchange has two sections there's like the stuff where it's like scrap where you can buy things that they consider scrap or not real, real valuable that you can use for art, arts and crafts type things. And then they have another store that's really right next door to it that's kind of like their thrift store section. So we went into both. And the items I'm going to show you first I found in the scrappy area, the arts and crafts area. So I found these funnels. I really like this one because it has a, I'm not going to ruin my nails trying to get it up, but it has a little piece that you can, a little tab you can hang it on the wall. I thought, I thought that'd be really cool to hang on the wall with some decor coming out or some succulents. Succulents just, you know, go in everything, don't they? But some type of flower or floral decor or anything could go in there, but a couple of funnels. So we'll definitely put those in the booth. Found a bunch of these wooden clothespins, just grabbed them. Looks like somebody maybe had painted them a gold color, but I thought they were cute and I thought, well, I can find some use for it. Now with those funnels, I was going to tell you, we had, uh, someone come into our booth the other day and I'm thinking it was probably one person because they bought several of those vintage, I don't know if you remember me showing you a few videos back, those vintage, beautiful vintage automobile posters and motorcycle posters and gas station posters. Uh, they bought like four of those. They bought the, the red light, the tail light we got from the estate sale and that Jesse James jacket that I just showed in a couple videos ago, that, that sold too. So just wanted to give you an update on that. You just never know who's gonna come in and you know, you're gonna to wanna to buy things for all kinds of people. So I have a feeling they probably would like those funnels. I don't usually pick up dolls, but I did pick up these two little dolls. And again, these were on the scrap side, not the, the thrift side, which I was kind of surprised, but there is like a children's section and they were with the toys. So I found these, I found two dolls. I've got this one here, and this one, I'm looking down at my notes, is a Ginny doll. It's by Vogue, and it's from 1972. It's made in Hong Kong, and even like the dress says like Hong Kong on it. And it's so cute, the dress is all good. It's got a little, the little petticoat, the little stockings, the little bloomers. It's got this little corset. The doll is stamped on the back. The eyes do shut and open, and I thought it was just an adorable little doll, and I don't know how it's going to do. Dolls typically don't do real well, but maybe one little small one like this 
with the cute little dress. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think they were selling online. Yeah, they're selling for about $12 on eBay. I won't put a lot on this. I don't think I paid a whole, I think I paid under a dollar for her, so. But we'll give it a try. Other doll that I picked up is a Globus. It's called the Globus doll. It's handmade in Denmark. Now, the reason I picked this up, who does this remind you of when you look at it? I mean, in my mind, I thought Little Red Riding Hood. That's what I thought when I saw it. So I thought, well, might look good in a in a Halloween booth. I don't know. We'll give her a try. She's got her little braids. And again, she's marked in the inside of her skirt. Right there, handmade in Denmark. And in good condition. This needs a little gluing right here. This has come undone, but we'll glue that. That's not a problem. And her eyes do open and shut. So I said, why not? We'll give her a try. Okay, the other two items I found on the scrap side were that human body poster right there, and there's another poster behind it, and it's the, like, I think the four senses or the five senses. These are from, let's see, 1983, and it's the American Teaching Aid poster. So I thought I'd grab that. There are a lot of people that are homeschooling. Maybe they would like that. I know we're all digital age, but sometimes it's nice to have posters up in the area where you're doing homeschooling with your children just to have let them have a constant visual of things. And then in the back there, I'm going to go up close to these if I have time. We'll go in the back and I'll show you these up close. But that's a Doctor Who poster. That one is from 1996. And I thought it was kind of cool. I showed that in the video a little bit close up, so I probably won't show it now. But... I got these, there's three posters there that I picked up. Okay, then on to the, the thrift side, the thrift store of the Scrap Exchange. Picked up this little pillow. It's got pumpkins on it. It says Charmed. It's probably contemporary. It's nothing vintage, but I thought it would be cute next year in the Halloween booth. So went ahead and grabbed that. Also grabbed these straw mats. These are placemats. It's a set of four of them. They're in good condition. People will love these. Definitely grab those. There was this Damn It doll. <laughs> and it says, whenever things don't go so well and you want to hit the wall and yell, here's a little Damn It doll that, that you can't do without. Just grasp it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it. And as you whack the stuffing out, yell, Damn It, Damn It, Damn It. <laughs> so, little Damn It doll for people that are maybe frustrated right now and need to get their frustrations out. I was super excited to see this. I thought at first it was a Kokeshi doll. I was so excited. I've never found a Kokeshi doll in the wild, so I was so excited to find this. This is by Lucy Kaz, who does do Kokeshi dolls, but this is an egg cup holder. I don't believe you would consider this a Kokeshi, but it is by Lucy Kaz, and I definitely grabbed it. It's adorable. These are listed on eBay. Let's see, about $10 is the value on this. I just thought she was so sweet with all her little flowers and leaves. I love it. And perfect for this time of year. So somebody's going to love this little treasure. Okay, you know me and my plastic bowls that I love. But remember the last video, I put some back. I was good. I put them back. But I said the Halloween ones are worth more. I happened to find this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take a risk on it. It does not have a date on it. And I cannot, it has a tag, but it's pretty torn off and the date's not on there. So it does have um, a barcode, but I do think this is probably from, if I had to guess, the 90s. I would say probably the 90s based on the graphics. And I think it's great. I think it'll be really nice in the Halloween booth. It, you know, put it up on a, a plate stand. It makes a nice background for decor, even if somebody didn't want to use it. I wouldn't use it because I wouldn't want to scratch it all up. I think it's in great condition. So it was a yes. And speaking of Halloween, you just never know what you're going to find. Now this was only priced at 75 cents and you think, uh, nothing special. It's just a pumpkin carving kit. What's the big deal? Well, I opened it up and took a look inside and the thing that stood out to me were all these little lights and they all work. The batteries alone in these lights are ridiculous. And there's, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten of them in there. And this was 75 cents. So even if I just get one use out of these for myself and light up my little, you know how I have the, um, I like to collect the pumpkin molds and I put those on my front porch at Halloween. So even if I just get a use out of these, 
it was well worth the 75 cents, but it also came with carving tools for a pumpkin. And I, some of these are pretty great. Now there's the standard pumpkin carving tools that you always see in all the kits. It has all kinds of different tools to use. I might even play with it this year myself, but then there was these. These are pretty advanced. My dad is a wood carver, so I'm gonna show these to him. I mean, these are, I mean, you could do some pretty nice carving with these. And they have wooden handles. I thought that was pretty spectacular in that kit. So for 75 cents, why not? And the last thing that I found as I was walking out the door and checking out was Billy Baloney. <laughs> Let's see, he's called, what's he called? Billy Baloney Puppet. He's from the Pee Wee Playhouse show. His eyes move. He's like a ventriloquist puppet. He is fantastic. He was in the case. I said, how much is he? Please pull him out. I want to look at him. He was $18. I am so psyched to find him. I had no idea what he was. I really needed Joanne and Kelly's help. They got on it. They started researching and they found out what he was. Um, and actually Joanne sent me a link to an Etsy, one that's listed on Etsy for, uh, how much is he listed for? $215. <laughs> I won't be putting him in the booth for $215. So. If you uh, want a ventriloquist doll from Pee Wee's Playhouse, Billy, Billy Baloney. Billy Baloney is what he's called. I think he's awesome. He was one of my treasures this past week. Another absolutely gorgeous piece that I found there was this Bohemia Czechoslovakian vase. Look how smooth that is. It's really thick glass. It's gorgeous with all these striations in it. I just love it. Had to definitely grab that. And I've been looking for this particular one. There's a lot of Bohemia Czechoslovakian glass listed on eBay. I haven't found this particular piece yet, but based on some of the other little vases or vases that I have found, this would be, or bowl, I mean, I don't know if this is a vase or a bowl, but it would be valued at probably around $25. It is gorgeous and has some great weight to it. Absolutely beautiful. That was a definite yes. You know us and our cats, we're definitely gonna grab anything that's cat related. This says creative co-op on the back. I don't think it's, I think it's just a contemporary piece, but I just like the simplicity of it and the cute little kit. And it's just a little trinket dish that you could use to put whatever you want in. It's just adorable. Or you could put it up on a little plate stand and display it, but I thought it was cute. Okay, so I think that was all on that day. Now, I did also go to um, Real Life Works Thrift Store. I think that was on a separate day. It was the day before, the night before, the day before I went to that. And I do have a few items I can show you from there that I, I think were pretty nice. And then we'll just wrap this video up. But I'm, I'm going to tell you, the dolls, that isn't something that I usually get are dolls. And I stopped at the Goodwill last night on my way home from work. And oh my goodness. I cannot wait to show you what I found at the Goodwill on a Friday night, or Thursday night, that's Friday today, on a Thursday night on my way home from work. Unbelievable, these dolls. So you're gonna definitely wanna watch the next video. These dolls are spectacular. They're from Germany. They're very valuable. And I couldn't believe they were at the Goodwill. So I definitely grabbed them. I, I feel like it's definitely worth it to give these dolls a try. So stay tuned for that next video. Okay, so at the Real Life Works thrift store, this is my first time going there. I will definitely stop in there. Joanne kind of turned me on to it. Um, and she said it was kind of hit and miss, and I do kind of, I do agree with that. Definitely worth the stop, though. Their prices were good, and you might find something. I found this really awesome folk art tile. It does have a little bit of wear right there, but to me, I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. And on the back, someone's written on here, Pure, purchased at Folk Life Festival, made by one of the Baltic states. That's what it says on the back. So I kept it with it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the booth. If it doesn't sell, something I'm gonna start doing, I have a lot of tiles, because I, I just love the, it's artwork. I love the artwork on the tiles. I might start putting some of these in my garden if they uh, don't sell in the booth. I almost hate to do that because I wouldn't want anything to happen to them, but why not? I mean, they're inexpensive. You can, you can kind of find them everywhere. 
and they really would look neat in the garden, I think. So that might be something I'll do with them. I found this cute little planter. It's like a majolica. It's got some frogs on it. Some on the back there too. And with it, you know, spring coming and everybody will start planting. I said, yeah, that's a definite. We'll go ahead and grab that. Another piece I found was this, um, I think you pronounce it ocarina. It's a whistle. It's called an ocarina whistle. And I looked up a little bit of information on that. So these were, let's see, these were used in ancient cultures to charm the birds. It's all, ocarina means little goose. And it's a whistle. And I think the back's kind of interesting how it looks like a face. I thought that was kind of neat. But it has little holes to do the, you know, the, the notes with it. And it also was used to lift, to lift yourself to a higher state of consciousness. So this is a, a clay piece. And this is probably valued at about 10 to $15. And I found that at that little thrift store. The other thing I found at that thrift store was this little bag that says 100 Brass Bell Wind Chime. And I found two of them. And so I opened one of them and you saw in the video, see if they're hanging from my light. I did a close up of it. It is beautiful and the sound is so pleasant on this. It is just a really light, you know, tinging, jingling sound that just really is pleasing. And this is vintage, made in Taiwan. So I, I bought two of them. I thought they were really nice. And just another little tin. This one I brought home for Steve. I said, you know, you could probably make a cute little uh, counter lantern with this. So maybe he's going to do that. We'll see if this turns into a lamp. I'll keep you posted. And the last thing I got was this little butterfly. He's one of those that you push the bottom and his legs collapse and he just kind of flops around. Just a fun little colorful wooden toy. So that wraps up this week's video, guys, or one of this week's video. I might actually have two videos coming out because I'm going to do that Goodwill haul. You just wait till you see what I got. I was so excited. I was so excited to find the things that I found last night at Goodwill. I can't wait to share them with you. But I hope you enjoyed everything that we found. I really think we found some fantastic things. We had a great day, and I can't wait to get all this priced and get them in the booths for you. Everybody, I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're getting out there and finding some cool things. You're putting a smile on your face and enjoying life. Everybody, take care, and we'll see you on the next video.